Well, tubers, I got an H5 to do today. This is a, a mechanical integrity test on an injection well. This is another injection well. I uh, I may turn this back into a producer. It was a producer at one time. Obviously, there's a unit here. I don't. It's been long since I owned it. But the interesting thing about this well is I just put this gauge in here. As you come by here, if you crack this valve, the well is always full of oil. It blows oil out of it. And it doesn't hardly take any water. Um, we're just injecting through poly. It's got 100 PSI on it. And just a few barrels a day, there's really very little fluid that goes down this thing. Um, anyway, forgetting that, we've got to do a mechanical integrity test called an H5. And I've got my H5 tester. <clears throat> and so the first thing we're going to do is we've got to screw some connections out of here. Um break that I actually just h5 this well about a month ago and I screwed up some of the paperwork when I did it I got the the permit pressures wrong and so they rejected it and I got to redo it Okay, I got everything ready to go. This is the surface casing observation valve. Uh, you're supposed to have this open, or at least open a bowl during the test. They'll ask uh, on the test if this had any pressure on it. Obviously it's zero. Uh, the tubing has currently got 90 PSI or something on it. I'll actually turn the pump off. I can shut the pump off with my phone. So I've turned the uh, I've turned the pump off, and the pressure should fall relatively quickly. It'll go to zero. You've got to have a pressure differential of I think at least 200 pounds casing to tubing, and we've got to go to at least 500 on the casing. So you know this would have been fine, but I still would rather this be zero. We can put zero zero and 500 or whatever on the paperwork. So kind of show you what we got going on here. I got a water tote that is generally full of water. Uh, but I had a connection rod off of it and it doesn't have any water in it. I have got a valve here It's hooked into this one inch line that I can fill the well up with water uh, The well is already full of water as I said, I just did this test a month or so ago. It's still sitting brim full But uh, we can fill it up with water. Of course, they shut the valve going to the water tote and then we have got a Quarter inch connection that goes up there to a nitrogen bottle and that's what I'll use to put up the actual pressure we're pressuring one side and then we're using the other side as the pressure gauge it comes up here we've got a gauge this is how we vent the pressure off of it when we're done uh, we've got a gauge to look at and we've got a chart recorder hooked in here and this is what I'll have to turn in this is counting time it's a 24 hour clock and it'll read the pressure and as we test this well you get to see if it leaks off or whatnot uh, of course we just tested this hopefully it passes without a problem and uh, <clears throat> generally, the commission shows up on all of these. The commissioner that works in this county actually just quit. And uh, it's Friday at 2 o'clock. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't show up, but they, but they may nonetheless. But um, anyway, I called it in for 2 o'clock. It's now 1.40, and I can't really start it early. So we're going to sit and pick up and wait a little while. So when you do an H5, you got to call the district office and schedule it. Pretty much any time during normal business hours. Anyway, I've called the test in for two o'clock. They generally always send out the representative to witness you doing it. Um, there he is, right there. So the commissioner pulled up. Uh, I talked to him for about 30 minutes. We uh, had a good test. This is about as good looking as you get. We were about 560 or 70 psi. Uh, held for 30 minutes. 
Anyway, we sit there and talk for about 30 minutes, and uh, he said, uh, it's been 30 minutes, let's go home. So I didn't pick the camera back up. I uh, thrashed to uh, get everything unhooked and chased him out the gate. Appreciate you watching. I wanted to show you what an H5 looked like. Catch you on the next one.